Stain's not dead yet, is he? No. No, he's just in prison. Yeah, he punctured his lung or whatever and was sent to the hospital. Yeah. I don't think they've killed off any character in My Hero, really. No, not yet. I have a feeling they will end up killing off uh, All Might, though. Maybe at some point. Or, or he's like Professor x you know, yeah. where he's like in a wheelchair and shit. Crippled. Yeah. Like permanently in his crippled mode. I could see that. <coughs> oh, shit. And then Deku has to learn how to fight without All Might or something. Yeah. Or, uh... I really do feel that Deku's little premonition premonitions that he sees of those people that used to have All for One are, oh, yeah. are gonna end up becoming really important at some point. Yeah, maybe. Rather than them being kind of shadow figures... It's gonna be like the consciousness of the. What, like the Avatar state? Yeah. Maybe. I think that'd be a little cool additive, but. Maybe. What, to help teach Deku once All Might gets crippled or something? Yeah. I can see that. Fuck off, do it in the red coat. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, 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 I could see that though. That would make sense. It would be really cool, too, because you kind of want to know who the last people were. Well, we and know who trained All Might. If you also think about it, if that's the way they're going, most likely it's going to end up being the last person. Well, the last, meaning the first person that had All for One, the brother of the very big bad guy, mm -hmm. will end up the last one to be talked to from Deku. Maybe. Or he might be one of the first... But you only see him slightly for one little bit, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck you. We only really know about two previous owners, the first one and the girl that gave it to All Might. Yeah. But he was trained by Gran Torino, pretty much, because she died. I wonder how she died, though. She doesn't go into it. Like, was she killed, or did she just pass away? I have a feeling she was probably killed by the brother. Maybe. What's what is it all? All for one. Right. Yeah. Three musketeers, all for one and one for all. All for one, one for all. That's pretty cool. But no, the guy that made it apparently like loves superheroes and American comic books and shit. Like he's done interviews in his house and he has like. Figures of like Spider Man everywhere. <laughs> and he, he, he's also done manga for like Star Wars and shit. Yeah. Do you know there's like Star Wars references in like some of the cities? Like it's like Dagobah Station and shit. Huh. So it's pretty funny how there's like American like TV references and shit. I think they did a really good job. Yeah. He's also a really good artist. And they they do a really good job replicating it in the anime. I think it's one time where the anime might actually look way better than the manga. And the manga already looks amazing. <laughs> so that's saying something. Well, they did a really, really good job. Because usually the manga, even if the anime looks good, usually looks better a lot of the time. Like, the One Piece manga looks better than the show for the most part. Naruto looks a little bit better. Yeah. He's not that great of an artist. I mean, he's a pretty good artist, but, like, in terms of, like, people that make manga. Apparently, the... Like, if you've ever seen the dude that did Bleach, that dude's, like, a crazy good artist. Like, the first couple... Like, af up until the Rukia stuff, he did, like, it's just beautiful. After that, he got really lazy and, like, didn't draw backgrounds and shit. 
But I think that's because the show was, like, it was getting less popular or whatever, so he's like, fuck it. I kind of feel bad for that guy, but then I remember he's probably, like, a billionaire. <laughs> I wouldn't feel bad for him, though it was his art that didn't do so hot. Yeah, but, he, he kind of lit it. Well, not... Yeah. I'd say his story. Yeah, uh, and I didn't mean art in the context of his actual artwork. Art in yeah. the context of his actual his creation. No, he's like a great artist, but he doesn't seem like he's that good at storytelling. Well, the first part about yeah. it was awesome. But it looked like that's his pinnacle, and then he's like, now what do I do? Yeah, and he also should have just gone and continued on with that storyline with Aizen at the very end start, rather than having, what is it, those stupid visors or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I loved it until after the Saberuki arc. Where they basically did the exact same story, but with Orihime. And worse. <laughs> yeah. And so, I don't know. I, I The Save Rukio arc is probably one of the best arcs in Shonen. And then, uh, after that, not really. No. Like, until maybe, like, the fight with Aizen or whatever, but that's like... What, like... 200 episodes after the facts. Yeah. And then after that, it's even worse. No, they, he's like, oh, I lost my powers, and starts doing this thing to get his powers back. And then he becomes everything imaginable. Yeah. Visored, hollow, Quincy, human, soul reaper. <laughs> and it's like, what? <laughs> what is he, a Saiyan ninja pirate? Too? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking has his... Getsu got Tensho in his powered up form. <clears throat> There's stuff that's cool about Bleach, like when he fought Isaac and he turned into that black haired form and just like fucking killed his ass. Yeah. But like, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Which the funniest thing is, is technically now he can just use that whenever the fuck he wants. Yeah, but he loses his powers if he does it. Yeah, but he can get back his powers. Though. Yeah, I guess so. Because he did. Mm hmm. That means he never actually completely loses his powers. They just go into... Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that in a storytelling sense, though, because, like, they kind of make the whole him losing his powers, like, meaningless or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck? Why'd you even write it to begin with? Like, just to falsely fuck with people? I don't know. That's, that's not really great storytelling. No. Well, honestly, him losing his powers was kind of a sad thing anyway. Yeah. But they... Honestly, if they wanted to finish off the arc, it could have been like, Oh, here's Ichigo. He is... He's dead. He's dead now, apparently. Then yeah. He, then he just goes through all that... Well, they should have finished it after he lost his powers. Like, just wrapped it up. That would yeah. have been cool. Like, he dies of old age or something and then sees everybody again. Well, or he loses his powers and just, like, it ends how it ends, where he, like, has a family and shit. That would have been cool. <clears throat> I don't know. No, they end up ending it, at least the anime, the, man oh, the manga's still going on, isn't it? No, it finished. No. But they gave him, like, two months to finish it, so he, like, ru had to rush it, and it turned out really weird. Oh, okay. Because they're, like, yeah, y your manga is, like going down, uh, so you have two months to finish this. <laughs> and he's like, shit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know what's another good shonen that does stuff like My Hero pretty well? What? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood did it pretty good. Full Metal Brotherhood. There's a couple other anime, actually. A lot of the newer stuff, actually, has been really... Yeah. They've been doing a good job. <clears throat> No longer set on the big three, but... Well, One Piece is still insanely popular. Uh, that, that fucker's never going away. It, you know, apparently it's 60% done. So, yeah, it'll wrap up soon. It's... I don't know how it stayed so consistently good with, like, 800 chapters or whatever. But, like, I, I would, like... I would have, like... 
quit if I was Oda. Especially since he's like 60 now or some shit. Yeah. Come on. Hell yeah. Fuck you, uh, red tape man. <laughs> With patches. I am the best. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. Put on some damn pants. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I like a lot of the anime that's coming out. But in terms of shonen, it's really hard to get a good shonen. Like Black Clover came out and it's not that great. Yeah, but my my hero academia is just. I I see my hero being like the next One Piece. Like it it'll be like the next big thing once One Piece ends. Yeah, but I also don't see it running fucking long, long, long spit. I, I could see it being as long as Naruto. Yeah. I don't see it being as long as One Piece, but... Well, One Piece just... Technically, he left himself open, which was perfect for any sort of storyline he wanted. Yeah, how they do it, because it's like... He's on an adventure, and like you go to each island... And so his it's like goal... Contained. His yeah. goal is only to become the King of Pirates. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to like run out of ideas, kind of. Like, even the filler in One Piece does a good job. And there's well, not even that much filler to be Even the filler with One Piece, you're like, huh, this kind of fits with it anyway. Some of the shit you think is filler in One Piece, you're like, this is filler, and it's like, no, that's not filler. And then you're like, oh, this isn't filler, and it's like, yep, that's filler. You're like, you suck, <laughs> You're like, what bitch. the fuck? Like, I thought for sure that, like, the fucking Davy back arc or whatever... Because it was just, like, so out of place. It was, like, filler. And then it's in the manga, and I'm like, what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> and then the shit I thought was a canon was filler. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> well, then. So it's just really good for being able to set up stories. I just wish it wasn't so long, because it's so hard to get into. If you haven't got into it, you know? Yeah. Though, I do like how there's video games that tell the story of it, which make it more acceptable, you know? Like, uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors does a pretty good job of telling the story. That's how I actually finished the story of Naruto, was the Naruto games. <laughs> because they finished... The, the fucking dub of Naruto still isn't done. Bruto is already out, and they haven't finished the dub of Naruto. Ugh. I also hate how they dub filler. I guess it makes sense because they have to get the money that they put in to dub it, but come on, don't dub the filler. <laughs> I, I, I hate the filler. I really I really hated that so much. I hate filler in general. Even if it's good, if, if you keep doing it, it sucks ass. Yeah. Like, My Hero did have a filler episode with the whole frog girl. Or whatever with the seal man. Uh, that was filler. Yeah. But you didn't think it was filler. I, I also I like how there's how they do it in like seasons, so it's like really consistently good. I think that's how they should do. Well, I haven't shows. even technically ended season two. They split it up. Mm -hmm. I I think all shonen should do that instead of doing week by week. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I, I like One Piece, but the anime does not look that great now. <laughs> no. Because it does it week by week, and there's weird inconsistencies with it. Like, it, they do it a lot better service than they did Dragon Ball Super for a long time. Until, like, the last arc of Dragon Ball Super, which looked really good, which actually made the whole Dragon Ball Super look really weird. Because it's just like... All this, like, mediocre shit and then, like, really good. And it's like, what the fuck? It's so inconsistent. It's like, wait a minute. You could have done this the whole fucking time? Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty dumb. But imagine if they did it seasons, how good they could do stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, look at the Dragon Ball movies that came out that look amazing. Because they had time to do it. Yeah. So it's not that Toei is a bad animation company. They just fucking decided to animate... A whole episode in a week. It's like, no shit, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> I couldn't animate something in a week. No. <clears throat> Though I do... 
Like, One Punch Man and uh, My Hero Academia slightly have a similar animation. Yeah, they're but, both Madhouse, I think. Yeah. Which honestly does not, not upset me one bit, because One Piece fucking looked gorgeous. Hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I, like, um, uh, that m movie One Piece film gold that I got right there. Yeah. It's a fucking beautiful movie. Huh. <laughs> so, and it's like, I wish the show looked like this. But anyways. We're, we're gonna call up, it, guys. guys. Sorry about us talking about anime the entire time. Don't worry, it's fun, guys. See you later. See you later. <clears throat>